Hello, I'm about to release the newest version of Atom Smasher. Now, there's not a whole lot of new content in terms of puzzles. That is, if you beat it last week, there's no new puzzles. But there are a lot of other changes. So, first off, there's sounds, as you can hear. Sounds really do add a lot, especially as you're running back and forth down the tunnel. So, if you have the option, try to play it with headphones on. Um, the sounds aren't, like, you know, spectacular, but they are very serviceable and I like them a lot. The next thing I did is I added in a much better interface for the stack. The only problem with it is that these buttons are sometimes a little indistinguishable, which is a flaw I plan to fix, fix next week when, when I can figure out what I want to do to change it. Maybe I'll just use a different category of icon or something. But it should be pretty easy for you to understand. The last thing I did is I tried to get it to work uh, on Mac and Linux. I don't know whether it crashed on all Mac and Linux machines or just a lot of them, but there's a crash bug. When you try and plug something in like this, it crashes right then when you hit the button. And as far as I can tell, the only actual person who gave me a, a log error, it says that the, that the error was a corrupted linked list. Now, I haven't seen a corrupted linked list since I was programming my own back in 1993, so that's like deep magic badness, uh, and it sounds like it's a bug in how Linux is, I mean, how Unity is compiling it. That's not something that my code has any control over or does anything with. So, um, I do use linked lists, and my thought is that I have to avoid the bug instead of fix it, because it, my code isn't, isn't responsible. So, what I plan to do is I'm releasing it um, without any of the asynchronous stuff. My theory is that Linux and Mac handle the asynchronous stuff a lot better than Windows does, and there's a Unity bug where they haven't correctly locked something until a thread is finished or something. I'm not quite sure what's going on, but that's my assumption. So I took all of the stuff that used to be asynchronous, and I've put it all in the same place, so it's all synchronous now. I'm hoping that fixes the bug. So if you have a Mac or Linux machine, feel free to try it out, and if it crashes, you could help me out a lot by actually hunting down a log file. Uh, I'd love to tell you where it is, but I don't have a Mac or Linux box, so I have, frankly, no idea where it, where it is on the Mac and Linux machine. Um, but even if you can't hunt down the, uh, the file, sending me a note that it has crashed or not crashed would be a big help. Also, if it does run for you, definitely build one of the later levels and then run down the hall just to hear it. Next week, I'm going to try replacing it with binaural sound. There is a lovely binaural sound um, library for Unity, but the only problem is uh, it requires some room-based um, stuff, and I'm not entirely sure how I'm going to do that with this kind of setup. Anyhow. That's it, just a small update this week, because I didn't have too much time. But next week I plan to release a lot more puzzles, that includes the waveguides. Um, some people have noticed that the Klystrons are not generally inside the tunnel, they're usually right outside the tunnel and waveguides come down. Well, this stack of pipes is not just for coolants, it's also for waveguides. I just haven't gotten quite that far yet.